We begin tonight with the most powerful earthquake to hit California's Bay Area in a quarter century. It was well before dawn when a quake measuring 6.1 and centered 33 miles northeast of San Francisco shook Napa, Sonoma, and Solano counties. The quake struck right in the heart of a city that prides itself as one of the most pristine, sought-after destinations in all of California. When you first saw it, the building looked relatively intact. There was the clear and obvious damage on the southeast corner where it had fallen out on the sidewalk and was in all the news coverage. And there was also some clear damage in one of the jury rooms. And then there was diagonal kind of cracking throughout the entire building. As you walked around it more and spent a lot more time in it, you got an understanding of how the building performed and the level of damage that it experienced, which was more than most people thought when they first looked at it. The most important part of the project was bringing it back to its original, what exactly what it was. It's a building that is very dear to the, the hearts and minds of everybody in Napa. It's been there for you know 150 years. It's right in the core of downtown Napa. It's very much part of the heartbeat of the city. CFA, Structural Engineers, is a very diverse company. In this office, in our Napa office, we tend to focus on commercial work. We do a bunch of education work, but we also do a lot of historic preservation work. Those projects tend to be much like the Napa Courthouse, where they're one, two-story unreinforced masonry buildings, possibly old wineries, or old public buildings that were built, you know, on the 1800s, early 1900s. There's a wide range of solutions that have, uh, have been used for repair of brick, uh, starting with a simple end of just repointing or grout injecting of cracks to uh, partial teardown or replacement of brick. This is a historic building, and we needed to try to preserve as much of it as possible. Some of the other items that we looked at using were adding steel brace frames or adding shot creek shear walls. Those systems are adding new structural elements in the existing building and then new foundation work. Through that process, we really wanted to try to find a way to save and preserve the brick walls and use them. Breathability was important to us being that it was a 130 year old unreinforced brick masonry building that has been exposed to the elements for all that time. Uh, we didn't want to change how the building essentially behaved thermally and, and mechanically because uh, they're not redoing all the mechanical systems and so on and so forth. It was important to us to have something that was more homogenous with the brick structure itself. When Simpson Strong Tie brought FRCM to our attention, our confidence level in the company was at a high enough level that we felt comfortable to use a product that hadn't been used in California before in this application. We felt strongly based on experience that we've actually worked with the engineers before on several other kind of new products that were developed by Simpson, the moment frames, the ATS system, just to name a few that we know we would get the engineering support to help us out, and we did. And all of a sudden, it all made sense. We, we had been trying to work with a European company that wasn't giving us what we needed. Uh, we've worked with Simpson Strong Tie for many decades. We know the product support is there. We know the engineering background is there. And we know we'll get the approvals that we need. And it was very important for us, not only as a structural engineers of record, but for the county as the end client, uh, for the peer reviewer to make sure that everything was being done properly, that it all came full circle and made holistic sense for the project. So when we saw FRCM on this project, we were not concerned about design because FRCM being chosen by ZFA and Simpson Strong Tie doing the design for it, we were fairly confident in, in what the system was. But the concerns we had was, this is something we have never done. Once we figured out what this FRCM was with Simpson Strong Tie's help, we set up mock-ups off-site. It was at Simpson's facility at Stockton where we installed uh, a plywood wall and then we shot shotcrete on that plywood wall with a shotcrete machine and then installed matrix, finished it. Everything uh, seemed much easier when we actually did it than just thinking about how we were going to do it product is being installed on historic masonry walls. So when you when you want to go to a project like that, you want to be prepared. So when you are actually installing product on the project, we are not making any mistakes. The fact that it was a new product and a new application, Simpson supported the project all the way through. In working with all the installers before and in certifying all of the installers, working with us on the design side, all the way through a detailing and installation, working through all the hurdles as, as we came across them. Simpson Strong Tie FRCM product has ICC seismic approvals throughout California in brick masonry, stone masonry, concrete applications. Projects in the future that would be uh, considered for FRCM would be I think, historic retrofit projects, obviously. I believe unreinforced masonry projects are ideal. Those could be stone, they could be concrete, they could be brick. The brick teams didn't make the most sense because of the undulations in the surface, and the FRCM does a great job in smoothing that all out. So Simpson Strong Tie uh, was a fabulous partner throughout the project life cycle, I would say. From design 
support to field support, they were working with us hands in hand and that made the process way smoother and easier for all of us on site.